This is Jamie with Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to share my favorite mechanism in Res Arcana. A lot of people have recommended this game to me, especially when I did my recent video about great multiplayer games to play with two players, and Res Arcana, I can totally see fitting into that category. I played a two-player game the other day, Joe learned it, taught it to me, Joe is my co-worker, and I had a great time playing it. It plays very quickly, and one of my favorite things about it, not really a mechanism, but it ramps up really quickly. Basically, in this game, you are um, starting with a hand of eight cards, and those are all the cards that you'll ever have in the game. There might be some exceptions to that, but I'm pretty sure you almost always have eight cards in the game. And you are, on your turn, you were starting out with three cards on your first turn, and uh, throughout the game, at the end of your turn, you were drawing one card. So you're, you are shuffling. There is some randomization to when you'll actually get those cards, but I think you'll probably almost always see all those cards. And that leads to one of the really interesting decision points in the game, a mechanism that I really like, which is you might think, and in a lot of games like this where you're playing cards to cast spells, essentially, uh, you're thinking, okay, the more cards I can play, the better. But that's not really the case in Res Arcana. You're building an engine around uh, accumulating resources. Really nice insert with wooden resources here. But I don't think it's in your best interest, probably, in most cases in this game, to actually play all of your cards, because all of them may not fit into that engine, even if you draft. We didn't draft in the game that we played, but I think that is the recommended variant once you know how to play. Uh, you don't need to play all your cards, so it's almost choosing which cards are the ones that will really make a positive impact on me, on my engine, and on moving me towards victory, which is gaining 10 victory points or more if the other player also has 10 victory points. So it's a race to, to 10 victory points. So if you have something that's slowing you down, and playing cards might be slowing you down because they cost these resources, you may not play them. So I really like the decision point. And the game gives you an out if you have resources that you don't want, or if you, if you have cards that you don't want to spend you can, um, or don't want to play, you can discard them to gain a gold or any two resources. I really like that. So that makes the decision point even more juicy. Do I actually keep this card to play it or do I discard it to get resources to improve my engine or activate my engine right now? I think that's really cool. Um, the other thing that I like about it, what I think I had two things. Okay, uh, a lot of people mentioned this actually in the comments about the passing mechanism, which I really like. If you pass before the other player, one, you get the first player token, which has a point on it, which is huge. That's 10% of the points that you need to win the game or to trigger the end of the game um, and really to win the game often. Uh, and you get to choose an artifact. So this is a nice little element of interaction in this game where there are these artifact tiles that are always out on the table. And if you are the first to pass, um, and it really whenever you pass, you pass, you discard your current artifact token into, back into the pool and you choose another one. Kind of like in Terra Mystica where you, you have this starting tile that you discard and then you take another one to get back. But I really like that choice. And I, I imagine experienced players are doing this partially to take away a tile from the other player. I was just always choosing the tile that I thought I needed for me. And I like that these are always out there. They're always visible. visible. So throughout the game, I saw some that looked like they would be really great later in the game. And so I was kind of planning around getting them, whereas early in the game I was taking some of them that just gave me income at the beginning of the round. So I really like this decision point in terms of uh, gaining an artifact every round and how you can kind of plan ahead a little bit. Uh, what is the last thing? Oh, um, oh yeah, two other little things that I thought were really clever. One was uh, just a tiny little thing, but you start out with one of each resource. This is somewhat obvious. I think we see this in a lot of games now. It certainly is the case in Wingspan. You start with one of these resources, which allows you to cast spells right away. But I think it's uh, just a good reminder, a design reminder, that uh, rather than having players kind of go through a grind for the first few turns to get resources, just start them off with a few resources so they can feel like they can really jump in to the game right away. I thought that was great. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is there are several abilities in the game some of them on these tiles. Let's see if I can have one on the... So there are these uh, locations that you can take over. Yeah, here's one. If you gain this one, it has a tap ability that says, check victory now. So rather than wait until... They, usually you check to see if someone has 10 victory points at the end of the round. Instead, if you get a card like this, you can check the, for, for the victory right now. So if you see that the opponent, your opponent maybe has a better engine, but they need a few more turns to complete that engine and get up to 10, 11, 12 victory points, you can gain a card like this that checks victory now when you have 10 victory points and they don't, and you can automatically win. I thought that was really clever in a race game um, where there is a set point where you are checking for the victory right, ra rather than right away to have several abilities that make you check for that victory right away so that you can grab the win before someone else does. I think that's really, really clever. I really like that a lot. A lot to love in this game, Res Arcana. Um, I'm sure I'm missing some things from people who have played the game far more often. So if you have a different favorite mechanism or you want to elaborate on some of the things I've mentioned, feel free to do so in the comments below. Or if any of these elements that I've mentioned, any of these mechanisms remind you of another game, feel free to talk about that in the comments below as well. Thanks.